You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the biker brothers from Bengaluru who have turned into ambulance drivers to ferry COVID-19 patients. The duo is part of the growing number of informal volunteers across India risking their life and health to fight the country's overwhelming coronavirus disaster. While India continues to fight with the second wave of COVID-19 virus, commoners across the country are reaching out to help those in distress. Believing that there is no higher religion than human service, two biker brothers from Bengaluru, Murtadas Junaid and Mutib Zoheb, have been volunteering as ambulance drivers for more than a month. The brothers who lost their mother three months ago said this is the time to serve the country instead of sitting home and watch people suffer. In the time where relatives are not going to their relatives' house or their burials, so I thought, like, I remember my mother's words, like whenever I used to race or go on a travel, she used to always tell that, go safely and come back. I have seen the visuals where people used to ferry the patients in two-wheelers with an oxygen connected or lifting their parents and taking it to hospital and running pillar to post. So that actually made me very much sad and emotional that this is not the time to sit at home. This is the time to serve my country. The heroes have been responding to hundreds of COVID-19 related calls and ferrying patients from home to hospitals along with picking up dead bodies and bringing them to burial ground. The brothers mentioned that the appreciation and support they have received from friends and relatives encouraged them to follow the saying, service before self. When this lockdown happened, we were sitting because I've been working as a, uh, from 2017 onwards, I've been making YouTube content and uh, Instagram content. So there were, people were tagging us, okay, on requirement on bed, requirement on plasma, requirement on uh, uh, ambulance, okay. So we were sharing that, so the larger community what we have, they were uh, sharing that further and we we're just giving information, passing on information. But the whole news and everything, whatever we saw, it was a bit depressing. Either you can do something, either you can crib about it, either you can uh, get uh, stressed out. But we got an opportunity through Mercy Mission. Uh, there was a requirement of ambulance drivers for, uh, for the night. So because still date we were just like sharing just about motorcycle modifications and touring and racing. So this was very much new for us. So being at home and what we could do to serve our country and the people of our country was just add the mentions on our social media handles in which we expected something would be of help. So initially it started off like that. Then we got a lot of appreciation from the people. These bikers have surely instilled an inspiration among the young bikers to step up and offer their help to the society. Moving on, as the second wave of coronavirus continues to pose a number of challenges in front of the authorities, a number of individuals and organizations are stepping up to lend a helping hand to the government by feeding the needy in every possible way. Today, in our episode of My India, we will have a look at some stories where citizens and organizations have stepped up to feed the hungry amid the pandemic. In difficult times like these of the pandemic, feeding the hungry and destitute still remains a tough challenge to be dealt with. 
While the authorities are doing the level best to provide ration and free meals for the citizens, a number of organizations, religious kitchens and individuals have come to the forefront to feed the hungry souls. One such organization is the Atal Kitchen from the northern city of Lucknow, who is providing meals to the needy in the city. The Atal Bihari Vajpayee Foundation has done that the Lucknow people who are निसहाय लोग हैं जो कोविड पीड़ित हैं उनको भोजन निशुल्क उपलब्ध कराया जाए आज उसके लिए विधिवत भोजनालय का यहाँ पर प्रारंभ किया गया है पूजन भजन करने के बाद और हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि लखनऊ के लोग जो पीड़ित हैं वंचित हैं यहाँ पर निशुल्क भोजन पा सकेंगे और गुणवत्ता का पूरा ध्यान रखा जाएगा और कोविड नाइन्टीन के सभी नियमों का पालन किया जाए Being run at the Gandhi Bhavan in Lucknow, this kitchen is providing free home cooked meal from the scratch. Running under the banner of Atal Bhojanalaya, citizens can come here and eat free meal, which is prepared carefully, keeping all COVID-19 SOPs in mind. Meanwhile, in the city of Vizak, an individual named Anusha is going an extra mile and providing around 300 home-cooked meals every day to the needy in her city. What we thought is at this pandemic situation, in this, you know, peak hours, we have to support each other. That is what we thought we have to show, a small token of love to a humankind, small token of support to humankind. And uh, later on, we just initiated and just, you know, all the good people kicked in. Anusha and her family were down with COVID last year in December 2020. Realizing the plight to home quarantine families, Anusha and her husband Ram decided to do something for home quarantine patients and families. She has been distributing free food including high protein foods like meats and eggs since the last 25 days for speedy recovery of the citizens. In Rajauri district of Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian Army has also been distributing food packets to the needy along with distributing sanitizers, masks and taking awareness workshops to spread awareness regarding the virus. Uske mukabla ke liye se na puri tarah se jo patient hai ya unke saath mein aaye hue log jo lockdown ki wajah se unko khana nahi mil raha khana mohiya kar rahe hain cylinder jo oxygen hai kahi kami ho to apni gaadiyan laga ke yahan cylinder bhi pahuncha rahe hain तो सेना का हम बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं कि वो जो सहायता कर रहे हैं। It is due to initiatives taken by the organisations, individuals and authorities that India stands united and strong in the fight against coronavirus. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Star chef Sanjeev Kapoor joined hands with an initiative which provides free lip-smacking delicacies to healthcare staffs of hospitals across cities. Kapoor, in coordination with luxury hotel chain Taj and a social welfare group World Central Kitchen, is providing around 17,000 meals daily to hospitals in over half a dozen cities across the country. काफी सिटीज के अंदर अब करीब 17,000 से ज़्यादा डेली मील्स सप्लाई किए जा रहे हैं फ्री एकदम जिसमें डॉक्टर्स हैं नर्सेज हैं वॉट बॉयज हैं क्लीनर्स हैं उन सब को खाना दिया जा रहा है आइडिया ये है कि क्योंकि इस समय जो हमारी मेडिकल फ्रेटर्निटी है वो काफी स्ट्रेस्ड है और उनको मोटिवेट करने के लिए खाने के माध्यम से हम मोटिवेट करना चाहते हैं ऐसा नहीं कि वो पहले से खाना उनको नहीं मिलता था लेकिन खाने से थोड़ी सी मुस्कुराहट आ सके कपूर बीइंग एन आइकॉनिक शेफ फिलेंथ्रोफिस्ट एंड अ पॉपुलर फेस इन द कंट्री इज मोटिवेटिंग मेनी अदर पर्सनालिटीज एंड स्टार शेफ्स टू स्टेप अप एंड प्रोवाइड फूड टू द नीडी अमिट द पैंडमिक A 16-year-old amateur photographer from Pune city of Maharashtra has captured over 50,000 images of moon and ultimately placed them to create a detailed image of the Earth's only satellite. 
प्रथमेश जजू इज एसोसिएटेड विद ज्योतिर्विद्या परिसंस्था वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट एस्ट्रोनॉमी क्लब्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड हैज लर्न अबाउट बेसिक एस्ट्रोफोटोग्राफी ओवर द लास्ट थ्री और फोर ईयर्स I joined uh, Jyotirindra Parisansha in 2017 and I started to learn more and more about astronomy there and I learned about astrophotography uh, through Jyotirindra Parisansha and uh, I read some uh, articles and YouTube and saw some YouTube videos uh, that uh, contained information about the processing and how to capture these images and what exactly do you need to capture the images I want to become an astrophysicist uh, to and study astronomy professionally uh, but astrophotography is just a hobby for me right now the image captured by him holds scientific value as different colors seen in the picture indicate mineral deposits on the lunar surface said to be the clearest picture of the moon this image has been making rounds on social media as well The research of COVID-19 cases in the country had posed a number of challenges in front of the entire country with the authorities leaving no stone unturned in its efforts to curb the virus spread citizens organizations and religious institutions are also doing their best to provide the services to the needy Recently a Jain temple in the city of Mumbai has been converted into a temporary COVID-19 vaccination center In desperate times like these of the pandemic it becomes very important for all citizens to join hands and take measures to help all those who are needy and destitute While a number of individuals and organizations have stepped up to distribute free meals NGOs and religious organizations are taking out sanitization drives and arranging oxygen cylinders for the needy Citing an example of religious harmony and contributing to the cause, Mumbai's Mahavir Jain Temple has been converted into COVID-19 vaccination center in order to ramp up the immunization drive in the city. Mandir hai na? Yahan log aate kyun hai? Apni apni shikayatein leke aate hain. Ye bhi ek bahut badi shikayat hai jo aap yahan rehkar dur kar rahe hain. To mere hisab se ye dohra dohri cheez hai. एक तो आप वैक्सीनेशन कर रहे हैं जिससे बीमारी से मुक्ति मिलेगी इन और एक ऐसे पवित्र स्थान पर है कि जहां से हकीकत में किसी को कोई नुकसान नहीं होगा Located in the JB Nagar of Andheri East area of the financial capital of India this Jain Daresar or temple has been converted into a full fledged vaccination center The center is fully equipped with CCTV cameras, refrigerators to store vaccine vials along with separate rooms for doctors. The committee that looks after the temple decided to set up requisite infrastructure to support the vaccination drive. For the same the site was also covered from the top so that immunization could go smoothly even in rains. This is a no queue vaccination center. We don't wait for anyone here. Wait for anyone. सबको टाइम पे अपना डोज बीएमसी के स्लॉट वाइज मिलता है जब वॉक इन होता है वहाँ पेशेंट्स के लिए व्हील चेयर है सबके लिए पीने के पानी की अलग से मिनरल यू नो पैक बॉटल की व्यवस्था है ताकि एक दूसरे के ग्लास को टच ना किया जाए और सबके लिए चाय कॉफी की भी व्यवस्था की गई है हमारे संघ की तरफ से Similarly temples gurudwaras and other religious places are also making arrangements and taking steps to help the needy amid the pandemic and serve a greater cause The fight against COVID-19 virus could never be won without our frontline warriors who stand rock solid even in the most difficult of times. In order to help the doctors and nurses in treating the COVID patients more comfortably, a youngster in Pune city of Maharashtra has created a device that provides ventilation inside PP kits. Take a look. Wearing personal protection kits while treating a number of COVID-19 patients is difficult along with being necessary. To avoid the sweat and beat the heat while wearing these kits for long hours, a youngster from Pune city of Maharashtra has developed a device that provides ventilation inside protective suits for doctors and nurses to be at ease during work. 
कि ये एक प्लग एंड प्ले डिवाइस जैसा हमने डिजाइन किया है कि कोई भी एग्जिस्टिंग पी पी जो ऑलरेडी कोई भी हॉस्पिटल यूज़ कर रहा है डिस्पोजेबल नॉन डिस्पोजेबल उसमें ये अटैच होकर यूज़ किया जा सके ये बेसिकली बाहर की हवा लेता है उसे एक फिल्टर के थ्रू फिल्टर करता है और उसको एक सूट के अंदर पंप करता है और उसका जो फैन का वर्किंग वगैरह है वो एक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट से कंट्रोल होता है पी डब्ल्यू एम टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ करके एंड जो इसका एडेड बेनिफिट ये है कि जो इस अंदर की जो हवा होती है वो बाहर गर्दन के इधर जो पी पी में नेचुरल स्पेस होता है वहाँ से एग्जिट करती है और उससे फेस शील एंड मिस्टिंग का प्रॉब्लम जो होता है वो भी काफ़ी रिड्यूस हो जाता है 19 year old Nihal Singh has designed a device named Covtech that keeps doctors and health workers cool during treatment in the COVID-19 wards. The device is a belt-like wearable one that is to be worn on the waist inside a PPE kit. The device has a lithium battery and takes around 4 hours to charge and can be used up to 8 hours. Nihal's mother, who is also a doctor by profession, is extremely proud of his endeavors. It is going to play a major role for the doctors. After wearing this, the ventilation inside, you know, uh, the airflow, what we are feeling, what I am feeling wearing it, it is tremendous. And that uh, uh, sweat and all, uh, the fungal infection, what we are facing, some bacterial infection, discomfort, all those problems will be get sorted out. The device provides relief by cooling the protective suits during the long working hours and avoid fungal infection due to heat and sweat. Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section World in Focus. Regular supply of high quality seeds is necessary for healthy vegetation and high yields. One such seed company which is producing high yielding variety of seeds is Taki Seed situated in Kyoto, Japan. The seeds and seedlings developed by Taki Seed are of high quality developed through research for providing supplies. These seeds are sent to quality control centers in different regions around the world to inspect their growth and their respective breeding environments. In recent years rapid inspection has become possible by using AI technology. ねがしっかりとですね、発芽する種であるということ、それから病気が全くついてない無病の種であるということ、取れてきた種がですね、その品種の特徴をしっかり持っている、あの純度の高い種であるといったところ、その密をですね、こちらの品質管理センターでですね、検査してで間違いのない種を出していくといったところで仕事をしております。Founded in the year 1835, the company started selling seeds to delivery and has expanded business in Japan and other countries, thus contributing to the agriculture sector around the world. Taki seeds have developed around 2,000 varieties of vegetable and flower seeds. Three of six trained Labrador retrievers have debuted as Thailand's coronavirus knifer machines. At Chola Longkorn University in Bangkok, going through hundreds of sweat samples per day, as they joined the fight to detect infected or symptomatic patients amid a third wave of the outbreak. The green is a seed that has grown up after the virus that is different, which has created a seed that is different, and has made a seed that is different. Therefore, the seed that has grown up is different. ทำให้สุนัขได้กลิ่นเพราะเขามีความไวในการดีเทคสารเหล่านี้ได้ดีกว่ามนุษย์เป็นแสนเป็นล้านเท่าโดยที่ไม่ได้สัมผัสกับไวรัสนะคะ The sweat samples, including those from bedridden patients who are not able to travel to get swab tests, and local medical volunteers were collected and brought in for them by the Social Development and Human Security Ministry. โดยมีความไวและความจำเพาะอยู่เกิน 90% นะครับซึ่งสูงมากอันที่สองสุนัขมีการตรวจได้ที่รวดเร็วนะครับเพียงเขาดมกลิ่นแล้วเขาก็จะบอกได้ว่าคนนี้ติดเชื้อตัวสิ่งตัวอย่างนี้ติดเชื้อสิ่งตัวอย่างนี้ไม่ติดเชื้อนะครับดังนั้นการตรวจคัดกรองที่รวดเร็วนี้ก็จะทําให้เราสามารถแยกผู้ที่สงสัยว่าจะติดเชื้อออกจากกลุ่มคนที่ไม่ติดเชื้อได้ว่าเป็นการลดการแพร่ระบาด 
the dogs can detect a volatile organic compound secreted in the sweat of COVID-19 sufferers, even in the absence of disease symptoms, Thai researchers said. With the success of nearly 95% rate, the canines have gone through thousands of samples since early May, said project leader Kaiwali Chaddarong. From ancient sculptures to contemporary photographs, objects spanning 5,000 years of Iranian art, culture and design go on display at London's Victoria and Albert Museum this week in the first such major exhibition in Britain in 90 years. Epic Iran, which opens to the public, features more than 300 items from ancient, Islamic and contemporary Iran, including manuscripts, ceramics, carpets, textiles as well as photos. Of course, Iran is um, in the news a lot, uh, nearly always for uh, the wrong reasons, and it's very good to be able to present uh, a different side of uh, Iran. And I think, you know, people ought to know that and to bear it in mind. And I also believe uh, there's a great hunger, actually, uh, in in the West uh, for people to know more uh, about Iran. It's the exhibition is made up of 10 sections, including the Persian Empire spanning the Archimanid period, Change of Faith, which focuses on the role of Islam in Iranian culture and literary excellence, looking at Persian poetry. Artifacts on show either collected over time by the museum or on loan include ancient relics such as the cider cylinder and line writing, as well as more contemporary items like Shireen Ali Abadi's photograph of a woman blowing bubblegum. This toy robot moves around according to the order plates, while this one runs on the set track. These scenes were witnessed at an educational expo in Tokyo. A concept of Giga Global and Innovative Gateway for All School is a new one in Japan which plans to provide a personal computer to each student and high-speed network environment for them. The objective of this concept is tailor education according to the needs and interests of every child. This is an electronic blackboard where the manufacturers are performing calculations. In it, the teacher can display the normal calculation method and the previously prepared calculation formula and compare the differences between two calculation formulas. The impact of coronavirus is changing the style and methods of education in Japan. Video classes and visual teachers are gaining popularity. This smartphone application is for better connectivity. With the help of this application, students can talk virtually and plan an event. Education in Japan is changing due to technological advancements and is improving the quality of education with each passing day. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindianin.com. I'm your host, Karim Zimik, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.